In this video, I follow the steps for tuning Betaflight 4.1 uh, that were put out by UAV Tech. Uh, they were actually put out uh, during 4.0, but they also apply to 4.1. Step number one is to apply the defaults on everything. So that's what this flight is. This is called the default. For this flight, you want to do some flips and rolls. Uh, you want to do some maneuvers to induce prop wash. And you want to you can throttle punch as well. What you see here is from the black box log of the first flight. This is the unfiltered gyro uh, noise on the roll axis. As you can see here on this log, this is still from the first flight, but this is post filtered, and you can see that. The filters do a good job of cleaning up that noise. This is the pitch axis, and as you can see, this is unfiltered, and as you can see, there is a lot of noise on the pitch axis. The filters did a good job of cleaning up the noise. You can see around 108 hertz. There is some noise, uh, but overall, this looks good. The last thing I did was run the black box log through PID Toolbox and do a spectrum analysis. The left column is the gyro on all three axes, pre-filtered. So on the top you have roll, middle is pitch, and in the bottom is yaw. You can see there was a lot of noise, definitely a lot of noise between 200 and 400 hertz on both the pitch and roll and the yaw. Now the column to the right of that is the gyro post-filtered, and it cleaned up a lot of the noise, specifically above 200 hertz. Um, there is still some noise below 200 hertz, but you'll see that adjusting the filters will eliminate uh, a lot of that noise and clean that up. Okay, it's going to be flight number two. I moved the filter settings from default down one notch. Adjusting the filters one notch, this is what the pitch axis looks like unfiltered. And this is what the pitch axis looks like filtered on those settings. This is the unfiltered roll axis. And this is the filtered roll axis. So a little bit of improvement on each one. So running this through PID Toolbox again, the really hard to tell that there's an improvement, but I think there is a slight improvement. We'll see later on what the other flights look like. All right, this is gonna be flight number three. Um, I'm set the filter settings two notches down from default. <laughs> So here's what the filter gyro looks like on the pitch axis. You can see it's smashed those peaks down a little bit more where the max motor noise is um, around 117 hertz. You can see it's 
kind of flatten it out a little bit more than the previous one. Now the roll axis still looks very clean. Not a whole lot to improve here. I think if the, of the improvements that are being made, it's just minute, minute improvements on the roll axis compared to the pitch. But an improvement altogether. So I ran this flight through PID Toolbox uh, like the others. And I think right now we're just making minute, minute improvements. So we'll just keep adjusting um, until we reach that point where motors are starting to get warm and I don't want to go any further. At this point, as I was flying, I could tell that it was it was just flying really, really good, and I liked it. Um, so I basically decided, okay, this is my stopping point. Let me check the motors just to see where we're at. But I didn't want to go any further because it was just the way it was just handling and the way it felt. But I couldn't argue with it. I couldn't justify any other improvements. Now when I landed, I checked the temperature of the motors and they were starting to get warm, so I knew my decision to just call it right there and say that those were the settings I wanted. I knew that was going to be a good decision. So here's the pitch axis uh, for this flight. Um, very clean, filtering is doing a good job. And here's the roll axis for this flight. Again, filtering is doing an excellent job of cleaning up the noise. It's probably why it, the flight felt really good. So after running this through PID Toolbox, uh, you can see in the second column uh, from the left, roll and pitch and yaw, they all three look pretty clean. What we're looking at here is the filtered gyro data on the pitch axis for all four flights. Starting on the left, the very first flights with the stock settings and the multiplier at 1.0, then 1.1, then 1.2, then 1.3. And you can see that there were improvements and towards the end the improvements were very minimal. We are looking at the same thing uh, right here except on the roll axis. Um, far left is the very first flight with stock settings and the roll axis certainly came out a lot better than the pitch axis. This is just a comparison of the spectrum analysis from PID Toolbox for the first and second flight. This is a comparison of the third and fourth flight which were run through PID Toolbox. You can see the one on the left is the final flight, the final settings that I ended up with, which is a multiplier of 1.3 for the filters. So in this video you saw the steps that I took to tune the filters for Betaflight 4.1.1 and uh, the results of each step I took. I hope I showed them in a manner that's understandable. And as you can see by the graphs I have on the screen, both from Black Box and Pid Toolbox, that uh, the noise has pretty much been squashed by the filters from Betaflight. Um, to me, they look really good. Uh, you, the pitch looks a little weird because I had to flip it um, so that I could fit all three things on the screen at once so you could see everything. Uh, but anyways, I got to give a shout out to UAV Tech who put out a tuning series for Betaflight 4.0, which also applies to 4.1. Um, I had previously watched every single filtering video that Joshua Bardwell has done, and that uh, I've watched a lot and what other people have done, and I just just could not get it um, until until UAV Tech put out his video, uh, his quadcopter tuning series, and it really helped a lot. So. I'd just like to thank him for putting that out. Uh, I'll link it in the video description so that you can check it out yourself. Uh, but anyways, here's the results. Thanks for watching. I'll be uploading the next part, which is tuning P and B. And uh, hopefully I can get to that before 
too long. Thanks again.